5 Kilobyte Productions presents in associated in association with can you turn off the fan please Productions presents a very nice device with light shining on the back to make the viewing of it less easy is a vintage telephone school type machine an audio visual kind of device of course and many at first glance would think oh it's a telephone record player as many has seen telephone record players before and whenever I saw this at an estate sale which was held at a learning center appropriate kind of place to find school equipment I thought yeah it's a telephone record player but when I went to lift the cover off I was in for a surprise editing would be required it wasn't a record player it was something more appealing to my likes a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder by Califone you'll notice it's upside down once the cover is taken off when the speaker is on the front because the speaker is actually on the back and I believe the reason why they did this is because the teacher would be up in the front of the classroom would have the machine they would the teacher would operate the machine and the students would be the speaker would be facing towards the students who would then hear the tape so that's that's what, my, what the reason I, I think is as for why the speakers on the back <clears throat> this, is gonna, this video is going to be bloody long the British person may say bloody but um some close-ups of the controls now I did do some cleaning of the transport and I lubricated the pinch roller but even before that the machine worked from the get-go original capacitors are still good original belts are still good both for the flywheel and for the counter um, it's just amazing so let's load up some reels Now, let's fire the machine up. Right here is the auto stop lever. Like that, the motor is shut off. But when the tape is in, tension on the tape keeps the motor on. You'll notice it also has feet on the bottom, so it can also stand up. Now, let's make a recording. There goes the camera. I want to use this vintage Bell & Howell microphone, for it is a very good quality microphone and does an excellent job of making recordings. Put in record first. I'm going to put the pause on. Pull down this button. Put it in record position. And now you notice the level, is, the meter just lit up. Show a close up here. Begin a video now. As you can see, I can set the level. It's a manual level control machine. Um, so I'll get a level set and then I will um, record and play. Testing for level, testing for level, testing for level. This seems like a good level. I mean, I could make it strong. Um, level, 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 level. If you notice carefully, the light of the meter dims the more current it takes to go into the record circuitry. So anyway, let's see how this is. Um,
I'm now making a recording on the Caliphone solid state tape recorder model 70-TF. The next I'll do at 7.5 IPS. Whenever you switch speeds, you have to stop at first. When you switch the tape speed, a capstan sleeve automatically is pushed up on the capstan. Now the speed is set to 7.5. I can record at 7.5. Pause it. Put it in record. And, and, we're now recording at seven and one half inches per second. By the way, I didn't show you before, but there's a switch here called monitor. If you have monitor on and you're recording at the same time, you'll hear what's being recorded as it comes through. This is only a two head tape unit, the erase head and the record playback head. And I'll rewind. Going through force, play. I'm now making a recording on the Caliphone solid state tape recorder model 70 TF. This is a very high quality machine made in the USA, and the mechanical section, the design of the mechanical section is by Akai. As this mechanical section is commonly seen in many. Akai tape recorders. And also one's called Roberts, which is the same as Akai. Um, I'll set the level higher. Levels up all the way. And it should be able to pick up lots of sound really good now. I'm speaking at arm's length distance, by the way. And um, it's still picking up good. Levels now getting lower, lower, lower. Now it's picking right up to the microphone to get the level lower now, lower now. And this is all 3 into 4 IPS. The next I'll do at 7.5 IPS. Whenever you. Uh -huh. Recording at 7.5 inches per second on this recorder. This should be a very high quality sounding recording. Now, one thing I like about this recorder is a really nice bass response. It gives a very nice sounding bass to the uh, built in speaker. And it has a really strong amplifier too, which drives the speaker quite loud with very good sound which is um, probably important because if there's a really big classroom you might want to play it loud so all this so even the students in the back seat can hear so let's play this back now as you can hear it chords really well AC bias no doubt about that one nice tough jacks and everything very solidly made machine. This thing is built very, very well and still lasts and st still works after over 40 years probably. This is probably from the 60s or something. So it's quite amazing how long these machines can last if they're well taken care of. Um, next we'll go for music. I'm in the process of recording right now. And soon I'll play back what it sounds like. I know, there's somebody doing um, lawn work out outside, so bad sound, but. Okay, let's see how it sounds.
novel speaker. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's more to come, such as this tape recorder.